Hey guys, it's me again, Orkslayer. What if? So where we last left off, let's see, check, check, checking. So where we last left off, I had just teleported, I just had the heroes teleport Deku and Bakugo to an obscure area. And the teleporter guy, he can teleport them over miles upon miles away. So what he did is that it's like bursts, like he can go... I don't know, a dozen or so miles for each jump. And for those jumps, it's like a have, I have to be there sort of scenario or a visual. So what they did is that they showed them a picture of a deserted island. They found out where that island was and what's on there. There's nothing because they don't want to damage Japan too much. So they went to an island... That's quite large and for them to host their battle. They got hundreds of drones viewing it from multiple different angles. So not one or more angles would be the similar. And since, like I said, they didn't want to risk anyone dying. But aside from that, Deku fought Shinzo, destroyed him. Saw Yuichiro, his great, not his great grandfather, but his grandfather. And I showed you, and I introduced Biscuit Olivia. As with this being shown, Baku, I, like I said, I've never given you guys an exact example of how strong Deku is. Well, Bakugo versus Deku situation. But Bakugo. By all rights, is much stronger than All Might by now. And Deku, well, yeah, even Prime All Might, couldn't really deal with Bakugo's full-blown explosions. So, for what Deku will do, well, Deku and Bakugo will do, is that, as it's like a... As a three, as a two, one... Go! As then Bakugo immediately unleashed, like, as they pretty much gave her permission to take the, like, she pretty much has no problem with the whole, you know, uh, problem that Bakugo has in the original, original is that her explosions, even at their, like, greatest, no longer hamper her progress, really. So what she did is that she unleashed her full explosion. As to everyone else, it looks like a nuke just went off. Or something akin to a nuke. As Deku is sent flying across the island. As she's like... I hope that got him. Everyone's like, is Izuku Midoriya out? As then several seconds later, immediately Deku was thrown into a into the like oh uh, what is it similar to a little mountain as he looks around he sees a giant boulder he w jumps over to it pick rips it out of the mountain and throws it as it's hurling through the air people just see it on the screen as it's flying through the air Bakugo unleashes another massive explosion destroying it and turning it into rubble as in that time Deku was rushing back over there as he got close to Bakugo and threw a punch, as she was just barely able to dodge it. With her using multiple AP shot as she uses, well, rapid AP shot as she fires it off several times as it pierces straight through Deku's skin and such. As Deku's like, dang it, Kotsky's. I knew Kotsky was strong, but I didn't know she was this strong. As he takes in a breath of air, he's like, oh, Nephilims, quake, as he stomps his foot down into the ground, causing pretty much the this like little island has almost split in two. As they fight and fight, Deku using like air blast and all that sort of air pressure and such, to bl try and deal with her explosions. So I was getting in close every now and then to fight her at close range. And she blasts him and he actually gets a few punches in. 
as her durability is upped by a lot. As Deku ha is like bleeding in several different places. And for some of you like Deku's been shot essentially and has been shot through multiple times. That is a flesh wound to a Hanma. No joke. As these like th as he's losing a bit of blood, but Hanmas can Hanmas could live lose gallons upon gallons of blood and not give up. But with that being said, Deku is still losing a lot of blood. As he focuses and lets out like somewhat of a power shout, sort of disrupting her like little thing. As he rushes forward, pretty much palm striking her right in the chest as she goes flying backwards again. She recorrects herself with her explosions. As then she's like, alright. As she only, as she said, as she and Deku have sort of been going at this like for over 30 minutes. As with Deku and Bakugo being drawn to their limits. As the island is pretty much, the mountain is destroyed. Where at one part Deku and Bakugo were chasing each other up and down that mountain. Deku using the mountain to cause ab rock slides. Bakugo dropping half the mountain on him as he punched through it. It's just a multitude of things. Deku threw trees at her. Used like his air blast. Bakugo used her AP shots. And uh, rapid fire shots and all that. Bringing what can only be described as an entire armory of explosives at him. As by the end of it, the island's completely deprived of any green light and it's been flattened down completely. As with the final thing, as Deku and Bakugo are like, ah, 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 as a, several, like dozens of drones have been destroyed in this fight, as All for One is actually even watching this, as Yujiro even is like surprised by Kotsky. As he didn't expect her to be this powerful. Or who this girl is. That Deku. He doesn't really know about Deku. Well he does know about Deku and Bakugo. But he doesn't really pry into it. But he knows that Bakugo is. Wasn't as powerful as this. As he sees the mountains. And actually smiles to himself thinking. She actually seems actually powerful and worthy of a uh, Hanma's attention. As with this final blow as Deku and her like start some banter as he's like. Huh. So. How much do you think you got left? She's like. I got enough for. One more go. You? He says. I got enough for one last good punch. So, hey, what do you think? Uh, if I win, what do I get? She's like, what do I get if I win? Oh. Deku says, whatever you want. She's like, all right, that's a deal then. As they are, as Deku jumps back, a lot as he thinks that he wants to fight Bakugo with everything. Everything he's got. He's putting everything he has. As he sort of starts to feel the whole overflow of when he usually uses it all. As when he activates it, there's like a quite of a like a little bit of an explosion of his quirk being fully utilized. As with the earth like shaking the this little uh, this little uh, island shaking like there's an actual uh, earthquake as Bakugo like gets back up and says starts doing the howitzer impact but she calls it something else like instead of, because her explosions like I said are much more powerful than howitzers that same something as with that what happens is that she does the whole spinning thing and Deku rushes forward. As he's able to, like I said, he pushes through and unlocks 
the full might of his quirk as he says I always I will go uh, hang on give me a second I will go no no not plus ultra he says Kotsky out of everyone I've ever fought I admire you the most as I believed you would as not I believe but I knew you could always reach such a great height. As he's charging that last punch up. As everyone's like, oh my god, they're gonna die. As then, Kotsky clash, as the clash actually happens. There's just a... As people, like, miles away from the thing. It, there's a legitimate mushroom cloud. As the island is pretty much... Gone. There's just nothing but rubble left. As when the cameras come back on, Deku's like crouched over, like put into a corner. As he's like sort of leaning against rocks, and Bakugo is doing the same thing. As Deku sort of goes to get up, but then falls forward. As when he falls forward, he feels something. He's like, What? As he lifts his hand up, he's like, Water. As when he looks around, the island is obliterated. Nothing is left except the rubble. As when he goes to stand up completely, Bakugo does the same. As Deku still feels in his arm, it's kind of numb, but not a lot. As I didn't know, like, I'm, I just, like, gave Konsky this amount of power for our most powerful attack. And Deku has his most powerful attack with the whole Nephilim Blast. Or, not Nephilim's Blast, but uh, what he calls the Nephilim's Calamity. As when he punches with all of his might, it's more like a natural disaster. Or what someone would, some people would akin to God himself striking a blow on the earth. As it, like, the guy who teleported them in teleports them back out. As from there, they're like, people, it says it's a toss-up. Like, a toss of a coin is really all that remind requires. As Deku and Bakugo said, can't we just, you know, share the number one spot? So, uh, there's gotta be a second place. Alright, just have two people in second place and two people in third place this time. As Deku says that, he's like exhausted. He's like, I'm tired. What about you, Konoski? She's like, I'm tired as well. I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's just go. As he pretty much, just, she's like, hey, just pick me up. As he just puts her on his shoulder as they walk off. As they go to the rest, like the the room that they wait that they would wait in they just pretty much as there's like a little couch or something as they both just chill on the couch as Deku falls on his back he's just like as she pretty much just goes over there and lays on top of him pretty much as they're just knocked out as All Might wishes to go see Deku and like class 1A and all of them but before they're able to get there, there's two people. As when Deku's sleeping, he's like... <sighs> as he feels like the presence the presence in the room, Deku gets up ready to fight as Yujiro's like, Hey, hey. As Yujiro says, Oh, you want to fight? As he pretty much grabs Deku and sort of forces him like into the wall. As Deku sent his fist for it, actually punching Yujiro kind of. As Yujiro actually went back a little bit with a bloody nose. As Deku's like... <sighs> as Yujiro's like... <sighs> Calm down, Deku. As he says, I wish... So, who's this? He says... Kotsky. Uh, I figured so. So what, she's your girlfriend? As Deku says... Mm -hmm. As he's like... Yeah... <sighs> Oh, what are you doing here? He's like, I came to see you. 
He was like, how'd you know I'd be here? Because I knew you'd be at, go to UA. Like, um, who's the other guy you wanted me to meet? As he's rubbing his eyes, it's like, this is, as the guy says, Biscuit Olivia, the Unchained. As Deku says, uh, Izuka Midoriya, or Hanma, son of the ogre, whatever you prefer. Um, is there something I can help you with? It's like, uh, I just wanted to meet you. Your dad said you had gotten stuck on going further with the quirk. Says, yeah, but I like you on it. Is there anything else I can do for you? And as it's like, well, I just saw what you did, and I don't think I really need your help. You really need my help. You just need to train with her more. As in that battle, Deku was able to push it to. It has now unlocked 65%. Though he does not yet know it. As Yujiro says, well, Deku, good luck. As he pats him on the back and says, Olivia will like to fight you when you're ever up to it. So Deku says, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. As he goes and lays down again, as Baku is like, what? As he like gently set her to his side in that split second, as and they just went back to the position. As All Might and all of them, like everyone does, like roll in there. As everyone, no one really knows. No, no one in Class One A's knows Deku's dad. But as All Might was walking, he actually goes see Midoriya and all of them. And Bakugo, he's like, oh. As he remembers Yujiro, as he takes a stance, you as he's like you, he's like, oh. All Might, as Yudro says, Pleasure to see you again, as he holds out his hand again, as Yudro's like, yeah. Sort of using a strong grip strength, as he's like, just finished seeing my son. As he's like, Midoriya's your kid? As I believe All Might didn't know. He says, yeah, it's pretty obvious, isn't it? He's like, I always suspected, but... To tell you the truth, here confirmed is bizarre. As Yujiro lets out a laugh, yeah, he ain't nothing like me, but he sure as hell is stronger. Keep doing good with that other kid, All Might. She seems to be growing powerful each day. As they leave, with Olivia satisfied with how like uh Deku looks as All Might and everyone in class 1A actually does show up they're just like mm. as they're still passed out everyone's like shh they're sleeping as Momo creates a blanket just puts it over him as she's like oh that used a lot of fat limits as they're just passed out as several hours later it's like mm. got to get up Get up as they get up and return home. Deku and with them eventually like going to the whole, you know uh naming thing. As Deku and Bakugo they got very, very few offers actually. Because people saw their power and were intimidated beyond all hell. So Grand Torino as All Might was thinking about like trying to find someone to stick him with, he still gets that call from Gran Torino about Deku, but he actually corrects him saying, Deku does know, but he isn't the one with the quirk. It's the one he fought. He's like, the girl? As he's like, really, All Might? Huh. Uh, d don't mean to be rude or anything, but I figured it was the other kids considering it was so much similar to yours. He says, yeah, he rejected it the time I offered it to him. He's like, well, that's... As he's like, well then. Well, have they chosen a work study yet? Not a work study, but uh internship yet? But, um, unfortunately, it seems that most people aren't looking for them. And he's like, what do you mean? He says, it seems a lot of people are terrified of them. He's like, really now? He's like... Well, that makes sense, All Might. They're essentially, compared to every other hero that we know of, they're sort of like demigods, if you think about it. 
Oh, I feel, I think a few people compare you to a god. So what they did was probably compared to even more so. Maybe they could consider them actual gods too. The god of explosions and the god of strength, I guess. <laughs> Hercules, that's funny. As they still do the naming thing, as Deku puts Nephilim. As I, as you guys probably guessed, it was Nephilim. As in Bakugo, she's trying to think of one. And she's like, what could be the thing? What could be the thing? As she's, like, trying to crank out, like, her little head around it, Deku tries to give her some ideas, but it doesn't work until she goes up there. And chooses a name. And this is where I'm going to be ending this one off at. So, I want you guys to choose a name for Bakugo. What should be Bakugo's name? Like, her hero name. I'm interesting to hear what you guys got. But anyways, I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. And I hope y'all continue to enjoy it. And I hope y'all have a nice day. Nice night. Nice night.